Hey guys, today we're reading Tide Pool, and like I'm just gonna start a new thing. So I'm gonna tell you three facts about myself. My name is Yara, and I love to read. And another thing, I love squishy rings and stuff. Oh, finally, this one lighted up. It's like so hard to light up this one. I'm gonna keep it lighting. Okay, so let's get on to reading. Tide Pools, level one. the table of contents. I'm just going to read it. On page four, there's Larry World. Page six, two tie. Page 12, who lives here? Page 18, six cool facts about tide pool animals. Page 20, built to survive. Tw page 28, tide pools all over. Page 30, what in the world? 32, glossary. Like the glossary that tells all the information about stuff. Watery World on page four. And this is page four. So yeah. So yeah. Have you ever been to a rocky beach? Question mark. Sometimes there are small areas of water on the shore. If you peek in, what do you see? Question mark. A little ocean world in a tide pool. So I'm going to ask you two questions from the book if you didn't hear. Have you ever been to a rocky beach? And second, if you peek in, no, what do, if you peek in a tide pool, what do you see? You guessed it, a little ocean world in a tide pool. Two tides on, on six. At high tide, the sea is at its highest level. Most of the shore is covered with water. As waves roll in, they may crash against the shore. I'm going to read this part. What is the best way to talk to a fish? Drop a line. Drop it a line. Drop it a line. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really funny thing. Like, it's a joke. I have to go. I thought I knew it because I read this book a lot of times. But it looks like I forgot it. Drop it a line. Drop it a line. Okay. At low tide... The sea is at its lowest level. The waves don't reach as high on the shore. The watery further out than it. Was it a at high tide? And here's a question mark. Was it at high tide? If you've ever been to a rocky beach, if you answered those questions, if you've been to a rocky beach and you said yes, then you might know. Was it a high tide or was it a low tide? Type in the comments down below. Who lives here on page 12? Many animals and seaweeds live in a tide. It's a great place to live. Waves bring new food every day. Lots of sun helps seaweed to grow. Spider, crunch, crab, and a limit. In case you didn't hear me. Sea stars. Oh, there's another one of these little jokes. Maybe you might find find it out. Sea stars, sea um, and seaweeds live in this tide pool. Tide pool talk. Seaweeds, living things found in water that look like plants but do not have stems, roots, or leaves. I already know what seaweed just 
just in case you don't know, I read it. Now, the, the other joke. Who do young crabs ask for parents? Santa Claus. Like the claws, Santa Claus. Who <laughs> do they ask for presents? Santa Claus. Like, you know how crabs have claws? <laughs> Funny. I like that one more than the other. Okay. Some crazy looking creatures live in a tide pool. It live in tide pools. Many of many are colorful. Some are spiky. A few have long arms and others have bells. These animals can be easy to spot. Sea slug. Sea star. Sea animal. Um, Ani. What's it? Ketone. Yay, another joke arrived on the page. This book, ski pin, skull pin, fish found with it. What with what with no with what's around it? Other and like it's like kind of small the word so I can't exactly read it. <laughs> it's hard because I'm a kid reading this. I'm not even um fourteen yet. I'm not even fourteen. I'm seven, so in seven years I'm gonna be fourteen. <laughs> Other animals are hard to spot. This keeps them safe from being eaten. Some don't even look like animals, but they are. Muscles and fossils. Barnacles, barnacles. Cling to rock. Muscles, these are the muscles. Now, the second joke. What did the tide pool work on its, on in the game? The game. It's muscles. <laughs> Buddy. Now, six cool facts about tide pools on page 18. A giant green sea animal shallows its prey hole. One, two. A male sea spider carries cares for its young, his young. He holds holds the eggs safely with his legs. Two, an octopus can travel over land. It may live, leave a tide pool to search for food. Three, four, a sea um, crumble, I guess carrot, carrot, has two feet around its mouth. It catches food with its feet. But an abalone is a large snail. It breathes through its row of holes in its shell. Six, a hermit crab has five pairs of legs. It's two back Parents, pairs, grip the shell on, on the inside. Tide pool talk. I already know what's prey, but I'm just going to read this to you if you don't know what's prey. An animal that is eaten by another animal. I already know that, but pretty much just in case you don't know, because these, these books are kind of for kids, like, you know. I'm reading this for you, guys, for you guys. So, built to survive. On page 20, we're already on page 20. Why is this video so fast? A tide pool is always changing. Water flows out. The sun warms the tide pools. It may dry out. Then new cool water rushes in. Living things must be strong to survive here. Tide pool talk. I already know what survive means, but it means to stay alive. If you don't want to know what alive means, it means like you're still here in the world. 
like you know like when when you die you you're not surviving and alive means you're near on world today okay i forgot the joke why did the octopus cross the road to get to the other tide pool <laughs> funny I'm gonna read this book over because I like the jokes. And I'm gonna read it to my dad because he's right there on the camera recording this video. And he's trying to laugh silently when the jokes are here. So yeah. Hold on. Danger. Danger. Yes, danger. Is how the water moves. It rushes in and out. It can wash away living things, so they need to stick to the rock. The ants on the seaweed grip on the rock. Lots of seaweeds have entrance at gears. At gears, yeah. That holds that hold them in place. May animals grip with sticky tube teeth. Other living thing have threads. Threads. Yeah, okay, threads. And there are two animals sticking to a rock. Drying out is another danger. So plants and animals have ways to stay wet. Lots of animals close, close their shells or bonds. I think bonds. Yeah. This keeps water inside. Others stay wet by hiding under seaweeds. No joke. A sea snail can pull its body inside its shell. A mussel closes its shell. Oh, I didn't know a mussel is a kind of, you know, thing. A kind of living thing. But, like, <laughs> we have different kind of mussels, like these kind of mussels. But I didn't know. I thought there was something that was that stick to another thing. I didn't know they were living creatures. A sea star's, a sea star's buddy helps it survive. There's how. Okay, there's so many ways I can't read all of them. <laughs> Spiky skin protects the sea star from harm. Eye spot. At the tip of each arm, sails light. They help find food. Two feet on its underside act like stucks, like stars or something. Stars, star ears. I don't know, but okay. They help the sea star to eat, move, and stay on in one place. Arms can open the shells of mussels. The clam sea stars, the clams sea stars eat the insides and arm can grow back if it gets cut off. Wow, that is so cool.
times when I went to a tide pool and she liked and we liked to collect um, little sea snails that are hiding in the tide pools. And like we like and when we like to like, you know, like press on it and then make all the water spurred all over our bathing suits. But but when but when we have to go we jump in the water and then we get out so our bathing suits can be clean from the water inside those things. We do. But many are the same. Tide pools are great places to explore. It's true. I love exploring tide pools. What? The pig is all right. <laughs> okay. What in the world? These pictures show up close views of different things. They use hints to fi figure out what's in the pictures. Answers are on page 31. Hint. These help an animal stick to the rocks. Okay. Two. Hint. Okay. These may crash against the shore. Animals hide on hint. Un animals hide under these to stay wet. Hint. It has five pairs of legs. I think a hermit crab. Hint. An animal can grow back and arm if it's cut off. A starfish, I guess. And prey. An animal that is eaten by another animal. I already know that. Seaweeds. Living things found in water. That look like plants, but do not have stems, roots, or leaves. Survive. To stay alive. Tide. The, okay, I'm just, like, I think we all know what's a tide because of the book. So, goodbye, everyone.